Happy Monday, Ted. Welcome to another edition of the Nightly Nuge. Uh, obviously, uh, what's going on up there with the Supreme Court, uh, you know, the nomination of Brown Jackson has got everybody in kind of a tizzy. Uh, she doesn't know what a woman is. I don't know if she knows what a man is. She, I don't think she knows what the Constitution is. Uh, but I digress. Uh, mostly what I want to talk about today is this gender confusion. I was scrolling through my timeline here. I saw something from Donald Trump Jr. Let me show you a really quick t- Uh, a little quick clip from a Virginia congressman that addressed Nancy Pelosi um, with no pronouns. Great. The gentleman from Virginia is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, person speaker. And I I say person speaker because I'm not a biologist and out of respect to our Supreme Court nominee, I don't feel qualified to say Madam Speaker. I know that when our own elected employees have to make fun of the politically correct lie of pronoun confusion and tiptoe over the eggshells not to offend someone, I'd like to see that reversed. And I think we accomplished the reversal of political correctness and the dishonesty of the culture war turned into a spiritual war right here on the nightly nuge by denying and critically thinking against those who lie that you have to be careful how you address someone based on their gender or confusion thereof. So when I witness this culture war turn into a spiritual war of toxic denial, negativity, hate, anti-human, anti-America, anti-freedom, I like to call upon warriors of truth, logic, and common sense, like yourself, Keith, but Mm, my dear friend, a hero, an American hero, a warrior, for freedom. The Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina, Mark Robinson, who I helped get on the Board of Directors of the National Rifle Association because he, he's an absolutist Second Amendment, and to become Lieutenant Governor of North Carolina because he's an absolutist God, family, country, constitution guy. Let's show the people the clip from uh, Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson. Here's something else I'm not supposed to say. Ain't but two genders. Two genders. Ain't nothing but men and women. And I can already see WRL out there. They got they licking their pencils right now. Trying to write fierce since they can't. Get every word of this here. Get every word of this. You can go to the doctor and get cut up. You can go down to the dress shop and get made up. You can go down there and get drugged up. But at the end of the day, you were just a drugged up, dressed up, made up, cut up, man or woman. You ain't changed what God put in you, that DNA. So his recent articulation, shall we say, of the gender confusion and the lie that there's something other than men and women, there are only two genders. There's men and there's women. And I'm not even running for the Supreme Court of the United States, but I could tell you the difference between a man and a woman. I'm not confused nor frustrated in the identification of the two genders that God created. You know what, Ted, that pretty much sums it up for today. There are two genders. I happen to really like one of them. I know you like one of them uh, maybe exceptionally well. Um, But anyway, have a great night, Ted, and um, we'll celebrate our opposite gender privately. I promise I will do that on a regular basis as long as God continues to mobilize me. God bless real America and the truth, logic, and common sense, we the people across the hinterland. I'll see you at the Ted Nugent Facebook as long as it still exists. I will also see you on the expanding communication at Truth Social. Uncle Ted has the crowbar of truth, logic, and common sense on Truth Social social. Get in line, get on where there's no censorship and you can speak your mind. Kind of like a First Amendment free for all. I love that.